Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 19 of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 16 and it is the third Saturday of the month so it is Mad About Mini Paper Pads where we come to you with ideas and hopefully inspiration to use up some of those mini paper pads, whether it be six by six, six by eight, even the little two by twos, uh, four by six, and even some scraps. And today's sketch could not be more perfect for Mad About Mini Paper Pads. I don't know whether Brandy Jo had any idea uh, that she would be on that day and that it would work so well with mini paper pads, but it does, and that is just awesome. So you can see the sketch up here in the corner, as I always do, and I did do a double page this time. So I'm using my Mercy Tiara Kits Smile Kit based on uh, Chamel's Reasons to Smile. I have one paper here that I used to create my bottom here and this was a scrap. Now I did not get the uh, mini paper pad. Uh, Tracy did have the reason to smile six by eight paper pad as an add-on but I did not get that but I had main character energy in the six by eight. So I took uh, six, I think six pieces of paper. Um, I took this lovely rainbow and you're going to see in a moment. Then there is a blue paper with stars. So I took, maybe not six, but I took quite a few from the main character energy. Now we have a share today. So there you go. So let me put this aside and let's look at the left hand side. And I used cardstock from the, I think, cardstock add-on. And, oh, golly, this is just such a lovely, lovely soft, soft pink that does have a little bit of a peach undertone. And I love it. So I put my photo pretty much the way it is in the title. And this is one of the six by eight uh, papers that I use. It, I used it. So this one here that I used to map my photo. This is going to go into Erica's album. And then this is a six by eight uh, piece of paper that I used as well to create the larger mat to give a little bit of the idea. I don't have a paper clip, but I think it still gives a little bit of the idea. Two clusters, uh, as Brandy Jo does have in her sketch, and I used the ephemera pack from the kit, and I've got some vellum here, which I really, really love, and then some of the die cuts. Flat to the page, flat to the page here, and this one is popped up with a Hey Little Magpie flare under here and then I went back to uh, the foam stickers from the Sweet Summer Kit to use this beautiful as the title and a little heart here. Now this little heart is a bit of an afterthought because actually I tore <laughs> the flower here a little bit so I popped that um, to sort of hide that tear. As I mentioned I had one piece uh, one large strip of this gorgeous floral left, so I used that. I did some paper tearing here down at the bottom, the way Brandy Jo has in the sketch. Now, it looks to me like she only put one, but I like to have the second uh, piece of paper. Now, let's look. Now, am I in the frame here with both? I do seem to be. And I love this double page thread. So this is something I think I will come back to on some of the travel albums that I do um, for the lovelies um, at the office or for my grandnieces because you can get quite a few photos on here, but it doesn't, you know, it's not too much. So six by eight. So all of the maps under here are from six by eight 
paper it. So basically what I simply did, let's take this full uh, six by eight. It was quite easy because if you cut it right down the middle, you get three inches, three by eight, and then down the middle again, you get four. So it gives you three by four cards. And that was just, just, just perfect for this. Now, originally I was going to, um, use um, six photos, but then I decided to really just use the four. And I really, really like that because it just sort of gives a little bit of breathing room and openness on the layout. So as the sort of subtitle on the right hand page, uh, let you know, discover, discover the Greek Isles. So this is when Erica and Chloe were in the Greek Islands in the summer. So we have Erica, this is a focal photo over on this side. And then these two photos and these two photos, which are, you know, I think just a lovely building architecture and just a nice photo that she wanted to take, a restaurant that they went to and a boating outing that they went on. So again, I have the same strips of paper down here at the bottom. And then I sort of wanted to have a little bit of a triangle that went over the two pages as well as on this page. So if we look at the embellishing, um, Brandy Jo has some embellishing down here and she has some up here. So I stayed fairly true to that. But then I just added a little tiny one down here with another foam heart and another flare. So that sort of gives me a triangle as well as this triangle. And I really, really like that effect. And this is just tiny, so it doesn't take up too much room and it doesn't distract from the layout. Bramble Fox bit here. And then I added, if you recall, when I went through the kit with you, I added some alphas from the alphabet soup from Doodlebug Design in Swimming Pool. So I added that, uh, another little puffy uh, foam heart up here. So I even have a triangular triangle of the puffy hearts, uh, a die cut and another puffy sticker here, a die cut down here so that I'm repeating the florals as well. And then just did a little bit of decorating on this lovely rainbow paper here on the background, a couple of little flowers and a larger foam, foam rainbow. And this is from the Smile Kit. These are from the Sweet Summer and these are from the Smile Kit. Now, if you look at Brandy Joe's sketch, there is a little sort of framing element up in the top left corner here and top right corner over on this side. And I thought that would be perfect to just do a teensy little bit of stitching. I've not been doing a lot of stitching lately and I really do love the texture that it adds, but I didn't want to go into the bright pinks or too much of a contrasting color. So I thought just some white stitching would give a fun little detail, some fun texture, and a little bit of added interest. So this is really, really, really a fun sketch, and I'm sure I'm going to revisit it. Thank you, Brandy Jo, for the lovely, lovely inspiration. Make sure you pop on down below. So of course, as always, the 30 Days of Sketches Series 16 playlist will be there. But I will also put the links to everybody who is playing along with mini paper pads this month because maybe not everybody who is playing along with mini paper pads is playing along with 30 days of sketches. Many will be, but perhaps not everyone. So I will have all of those links down below as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back here very, very soon. And thank you for your support as always. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.